All right, guys, I've got Tack Pack for April 2020. I'm uh, going to be opening up with the new and yet unnamed Delco Products uh, American Style Tanto Knife. I'm going to be doing a video on this, just kind of going over the uh, the features, build, and specifics of it. Um, so be on the lookout for that here shortly. It is a very robust D2 blade, so uh, stay tuned for that. Alright, as always, if you open your tack pack from the bottom, you will get your card first. And spring has arrived, and so has one of our best tack packs. We brought out the big guns with regards to some American brands, Gerber, S-O-L-G-W, and Black Rifle Coffee Company. Dig in and enjoy. So right off the bat, we'll start off with what's on top. Um, again, you guys will notice uh, they stopped putting prices on this, so uh, I guess if you guys want to know what the MSRP of these are, you're going to have to do that work yourself. So first up off the bat, we have a Sons of Liberty Gunworks T. So that's pretty awesome. Always glad to get a sweet t-shirt like that. And it has that um, uh, grunt style feel to it, like the lived in, been washed a bunch of times. So it's a good quality t-shirt, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, next up, we have the Black Rifle Coffee Company Stainless Steel Mug. So let's dig that out. There it is. I got the theme with this one. We got a coffee or die from Black Rifle Coffee Company. So there we go. Stainless steel mug, double lined. Um, we highly recommend hand washing this item. So obviously not dishwasher safe. So we'll have to keep that in mind when we use it. So. Uh, next up, we have the Gerber Paraframe Folding Knife. The number one best-selling clip folding knife sold by Gerber. And it is lightweight, partially serrated, one-hand opening, frame lock, pocket clip, three-inch blade. Clip point, titanium nitrate coated blade for extra corrosion resistance. Dual thumb studs, which does make opening up uh, ambidextrous. Partially serrated edge. Um, <clears throat> it's about half. It's about half and half. So there you guys have that. And we'll do a video on that here shortly. Uh, let's see here. We have an empty chamber safety flag, which if you guys go to professional ranges, there are a lot of places that require this. Um, Tack Pack logo on that. And basically, you're just going to stick this in your, uh, You'll, if you have a pistol, you'll pull your slide back a little bit, put this in your chamber, let the slide come back forward. And this little yellow flag lets any range bosses know that um, there's not, you know, you don't have a live firearm sitting on the table. The chamber is safe. It's it's a safe uh, inert gun at, the t at that point in time. Um, next up, we have some Shooter's Tape, a product we developed with Range Day in mind. Build makeshift targets used to secure existing targets or general, or, yeah, any general high-vis utility packing purpose. This tape includes one MOA target grids. Toss it in your range bag right now just in case. So I was just at the range the other day. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can actually just... <clears throat> literally stick this tape up on a target and you now have a fresh set of targets so that's pretty cool I, this will definitely go a long way very bright so it'll be easy to see in the long distances um, so there's that it's tack, pack, tack Pack's own brand product here so, so they're getting into their own products um, 
So, speaking of going to the range, I did just go to uh, to the range and I tested out a Glock 23 I just picked up in 40 cal. And let me tell you, it is so much different than my 9mm. Um, I did pull out the Mantis X and I did um, record um, 10 shots. And I think it was the second set of 10 shots I fired out of it. And I did not do well, guys. It's almost I'm almost too ashamed to put the numbers up. That's how terrible it was. Uh, last, la lastly, we have a precious pink taco for our patch. And as always, these are priceless. So this will be a nice addition to my patch board. Um, so we have our Maytac pack hints and that is with the weather breaking and the outdoor range is becoming a great place to practice not only your accuracy but also some social distancing the may pack is coming packed with the necessities you need for a perfect outside day of shooting so there we go guys um yeah i took out uh, the glock i just picked up uh, i picked up a sweet little ar style 12 gauge um, I took my pump out, my pump 12 gauge, and my 357. All four of those are, are guns that I had bought over the last few months that I hadn't had a chance to shoot. So um, I really, and the optics, uh, I have a red dot for the one shotgun, and I didn't have any batteries for it. So I just basically just shot in a general direction because there was no sense in trying to be accurate with it. Um, same thing with the pump. We had some bird targets out, and I just shot and blew those up. 357, I put seven rounds through. Um, I liked it, but I really had a lot more fun with that Glock. Um, definitely tried to get better after I pulled out the old Mantis X and realized how horrible and horrendous my technique had been. Um, if you guys go back through and you can find it, you'll see my um, the dry fire when I first got it. And I had been pra I'd practiced a few other times, but with my 9mm. And with that, I don't have to rack it back and, um, you know, every after every shot. However, I also dry fired. So I didn't use live rounds, but this time I used live rounds. And that was a big factor. <clears throat> and that 12 gauge AR I have is super light and it beat the crap out of my shoulder so the whole time i was out there I, I could feel that my whole arm was a little roughed up after the experience so um all right guys that's all i got for you just to recap we've got the precious pink taco patch we got some shooters tape from tack pack we've got a uh, chamber flag gerber pocket knife and a black rifle coffee company mug also, this sweet t-shirt, and I'm so glad to get this because I've ruined a couple of my grunt style ones, so this is nice. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. You guys know what to do. Um, be safe out there. Practice social distancing. Wear masks if you have to. Uh, and really, it's just for the, your own peace of mind and the peace of mind for the people around you. The cloth masks really aren't going to do anything. Uh, if you think the cloth mask will stop the corona, then it's like thinking your underwear stops a fart, and that just doesn't happen. So there we go, guys. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. You guys know what to do. That's all I got for you. And Joe Fischel.